Welcome back. This should be quite the banger as well, Execration. I was talking a bit to Vincenzo for that player mm. matchup. They seemed pretty confident. You know, they were, they were making fun a bit of Raging Potato, the sole <laughs> Filipino to go to the Malaysian stack. I suppose he is using Metamorphosis every time he has the chance, so you can't really stop him once he does commit that as Kamizu is going to try and rush forward now as the meta does wear out. In the meantime, they do lose the TA bot lane, but Kamizu, he's going to drop here to Roger, and now with the Nightmare out, they've even got Carlo locked down, and that should be a nice easy kill, at least for Roger, as he tries to chase him down, but the Fairy Fire is going to buy enough time for Carlo to get out. And just apply pressure onto the TA, who really doesn't have that much distance to play with on this lane. You have level 1 side blades, can't really stand far back enough. Playing on the edge here, Moon and Bob just trying to get each other down as the blink is forward. Bob, he's got him. Oh, that's a very close call there for the Queen of Pain. Like, you have a lot you can play with here. I think you do. Moon's still Nando? having a fantastic lane, but bot lane, Nando again gonna be in danger. Carlo's gonna rotate this time around to make sure they don't lose him a third time. Ah, Fu, he'll be the one to go down as they get the Fire Blast out onto Raging. Lift is there, Carlo should be able to cancel that one off and they'll go for a second. There's Nando looking for some sweet, sweet revenge. In the meantime, Bob, he ends up going down to Moon in that mid lane, but Raging, he's still the one running. How have they not killed him off yet? The Ignite is there. Nando, he should finally be able to get it done, and he does. Whereas SMG's just taking over that bot jungle. They have Raging constantly shoving in. They're keeping pressure mid as well. Kimizu. Yeah, Raindrops will block a lot of the damage off from the Ink Swarm, but it may not matter as a Soulbind and Double Silence is out. Do they have the damage though? Moon is still trying after Kamizu, but he's just so tanky. And now the Ravage flies out. Nando will join in. Moon though, he is still very healthy. They'll get Roger down, but that's about all they'll get. Bob is forced to intervene and commit the Sonic Wave. What you have to commit to get to his kills doesn't feel worthwhile, although it's not over. Yeah, they'll jump in again. Moon just so confident on this Ember to go back in after the Ogre, but he's dropping Ooh. very low and Moon could not remnant in time. Vincenzo hands the tip over. Moon just waiting a little bit too long. The chase is still going for the Ogre and eventually he should go down and does. But it's a big trade-off there for SMG to give up Moon for that Ogre kill. But having Moon cleaned up like that does make it a little bit more worthwhile. They are keeping up though. Make the jump in onto Carlo and Kimizu. He's not too safe either as the Ink Swirl will connect again. And this time, with mid one around, they'll have plenty of damage available for the Tide Hunter. Execration. Try. Smoke will be broken. Raging. He'll be the target now, but he's got help right behind him. Ink Swirl. They lift him right back into the Ink Swirl. Ravage has been committed though. They'll try to stop the fight. Roar is out. A double roar. In fact, Raging. He sets up, but can they get anything done as Carlo? He had the Fiend's Grip. He locked down Moon for a second. It's not quite enough, but in the backside, Bob, he's dealing with Arfu. He's getting the supports down. Moon, he's back in Nando. He went right into the middle of the team fight, and he's going to pay for it. Oh, they got the TA down. Bot lane, Vincenzo again, just in deep, deep waters and raging. He will happily just put his head back underwater as Vincenzo. Oh, he'll try to run. I suppose you've got some information here for the rest of Execration, but it does seem like a very free kill to just give back the way of mid one, who does actually get it with an illusion. Very nice, a bit more bonus gold coming the way of the TB, as now Carlo is going to get caught out. Moon able to pick up another kill on the Ember now. The top lane, bit more action. They found Bob. Roger's got the Fiend's Grip. They should have plenty of damage with mid one, but the Ravage is there. Kamisu and the Sonic Wave gonna take down one, but there's your Soulbind. Where's the Blink out? He can't get it. He's gonna end up dropping Bob. He does eventually go down, and now Kamisu, can he get himself out? It just doesn't seem like it. There is no exit. It'll be another for mid one. And SMG, it just feels like they're taking every fight they can get right now, and they just keep winning them out as Nando. He's been slowed up. Roar is there by Raging. He's just locked down. Can he find a way out of this one? It doesn't seem like it. It might be Roshan time, John. Oh. Desolator's up on Nando. Going for the blink next. Feels like they need BKBs to start flowing out as well. Nando, not again. Inkswall is out. Moon Remnant's fold with the chains. They've got the lockdown. This TA, how do you survive this? He's trying with the help of Carlo, but it's not looking good. The chase continues from Moon, and they've got another, it seems, as Nando will just immediately drop again. 
while that fight breaks out as well. Mid one's just focused in on that top tier two tower. It, it's a terribly bit butterfly. He can just oh, melt Bob. these towers by himself. Yeah, Bob's in trouble, raging. Just taking down the right tree line there, and in fact, a soulbind into a double fiend grip is out. It's just a perfect combination from SMG as they take down four for nothing. Because there's no ravage for a little bit longer. It is back up. There is some team fight, but yeah, they're going for it. Well, they're diving down to John Moon. He really wants Nando another time. Onto the tier fours they go. I mean, respawns are coming up. Mid one, how confident are you, sir? Apparently, very easy. Just continues onto the little shrine there. But now everyone else coming up online. Looks like they might have to play it a little bit safer, though I say that. Mid one still playing around very aggressively. With the Metamorphosis on half its duration, he won't stop. In fact, Vincenzo, he moves forward. He's gonna drop. Ravages out. Kimizu landing on three with the Sonic Wave is there. They've got the Aegis down, but now the Roar is out. They've got the Rubik Carlo. He's gonna drop first. Moon, who do you go after next? Chains is there on Nando, but he's taking way too much damage, Moon. He's gonna drop. Bleeding a lot of gold back the way of Nando as they jump in on Tafu now. They've got the Grimstroke down. Mid one and right. Raging Potato. They need to find their own way out. They're trying to keep Mid one alive. And has he gone too far? It looks like he has, but no, the Sunder. Mid one, he'll just keep going. Onto Kamisu now. The Tide Hunter trying to hide in the tree line, but it's not enough. Raging, meanwhile, just going after Vincenzo. They clean them up again. Even with that Ravage up, it, it just doesn't feel like they have the follow up right now on Execration to really defend this bottom lane of Barracks here against SMG. There's your meta pop now. It Mid one oh not playing God. around is Vincenzo, he just melts and now Moon again, he's found that target, he loves to aim down, it's gonna be Nando, that'll be another kill out for Moon as Carlo, he also gets caught out, they'll try to commit the Sonic Wave, they might find Moon and they do, as Carlo barely survives with a slither of HP but Moon he has bought so much space and now the Fiends grip Roger, always finding the target he wants, the Ravage is way too late by Kamizu and SMG, they should be able to just secure Megas as GT's called. They've seen enough. Such a dominant victory here from SMG for game number one. Oh, they play extremely well on SMG's side. They knew they had this timing with the Beastmaster offlane. They knew they could just look to play push after a point. I think it boils down to really that lane. I think Kimizu's lane went well enough. Bob's lane, you know, back and forth with Moon. But really, Nando's lane was just completely shut out. He was still finding some farm. But you're a TA against Beastmaster. You don't really have much to play with there. We are on to our game number two between Execration and SMG. It's a very deep ward there on the, uh, the Dire Triangle. But Raging puts another on the left side of the uh, the mid lane. So they want double Observer Wards just for Moon here as they have found Kimizu out on this Centaur, but can they lock him down? Well, the Fisher will land. It's gonna be a lot of damage flying out from mid one. One more would do it, and he does get it in time. It's hard to see a Puck completely lose a lane, but Moon's doing a great job in just zoning out. He does offer a blink screen of pain build. So that gives him more wave clear, maybe less harassment on Bob, and Bob has ways to dodge, so there is that there in that mid matchup. Now on the Centaur to be able to sustain himself in this laning phase, but it does feel like it's a very free time for mid one right now, as top lane, Raging's gonna be chased down, the slows are out, so this should be a, a kill out for Nando, but he'll try to heal up, Raging, how long could you survive? Not long enough. It's looking pretty even here for Execration. They are finding some trades here and there. I think the, the aggression up top is actually keeping off Luke from going mid. Oh, Moon, he went for a very greedy play in that mid lane, trying to get Carlo, but ends up paying for it, and naturally the tips come out. <laughs> Good punishment coming out from Execration. Again, tying into the fact that Afu can't leave this lane. Just being run down now. You've got R4 around to try and help him out, but they might try to make the time for themselves. Carlo, he'll show up. There's Bob with the silence out. The Tide is going to try and help him back to a very nice Fisher. It'll block the way. Just waiting at the coil here is mid one. But the Fire Blast is there. Still, the damage is not enough. But Kamizu, he'll get it done. As Sonic Wave is out from Moon, they'll try to trade now. Onto the Centaur they go. Kamizu, he'll be the first to drop here for Execration. But can they find any more? Carlo, he'll turn around for Roger. But it will cost him his own life. And a fair bit of gold to go the way of Arfu as Moon. He's not done yet. Onto Vincenzo he goes. He wants that Ogre down. But Bob's going to be a bit of a nuisance here trying to fight back and it looks like it should be enough to allow Vincenzo to get himself out 
That's exactly what SMG tried to do. In fact, never mind that. They'll jump into the triangle, back in onto the Ogre. And eventually, Vincenzo should drop and does. But Carlo, he'll rotate. They'll try to force another team fight as Kamizu does pop the stampede. Back in on Moon they go, but a nice Sonic wave out from Moon will force them back. And Kamizu, he may just drop and does. Ah, Fu, he gets another kill on the Shaker as Carlo is still trying after the Quap. But Moon, he is tanky enough to get himself out. Echo Slam ready on Afu, doesn't quite have his blink. No level 6 yet on Roger, so the lockdown might be a bit lacking, but they are gonna go. Oh, nice Fisher. Out from Afu, Carlo, he can spot a spot of dangerous moon, wants to keep the chase up, but the dream call is there from Bob onto three targets. Echo Ooh. Slam, oh, it's completely whiffed Bob. He face shifts out of it. They connect on nothing as Afu now. He'll be slowly chased down. A nice slam, but is it going to be enough? Not quite, but here comes mid one. He'll try to help out the team, is raging. He comes in from the side, onto the weaver they go. He'll let the spidlings do the work, and that they will, as Nando was spotted, but he is too far to chase. Or is he? Raging's still trying. Moon does blink forward. They do have the Orchid almost up on Raging with the mana now available. So Nando, he is not out of the woods quite yet as Moon. He's made the jump right in and they've got him. Does feel like SMG might be forced to go for a bit of a reset. His execration, they have respawned and are looking rather healthy as Bob. You see him take down Roger, but Moon now with the Sonic Wave. It does connect this time around. Bob, he didn't get to the high ground. They're going to try now, but he's got help around him. How do you initiate? I mean, Bob, he's got the coil, and that's exactly how they'll have to start. They do commit it. He'll break straight away. Where's the help? It's incoming. Mid one, he'll join in, but no, it's too late. Raging is already gone as Roger. He thought about the Ravage, but now he's been left behind. Or has he? Ravage now, committed. He does take on three heroes as Kamizu about to drop a Roger. He's already gone and now mid one. He's gone too far. A bit of miscommunication. It seems but no, the oh. Fisher and the Sonic wave out. It may have bought some time as Vincenzo. He will at least go down, but Bob, he's the bigger target. And Moon? Well, he won't make the jump in on either. He won't risk it. But oh. Afu will. The patience from Afu does pay off as he gets a double kill on the Earthshaker. And it's up to Carlo now on that Weaver. Can they find the final piece of the puzzle? Oh, Carlo, it looks like he's going to be just fine with the tumblers. Bob is trying to work straight into an Aeon Disc so he doesn't get bursted. That will mean that at least he can throw some follow up spots, but damage is going to be a bit of an issue. Another aggressive blink in from Moon. He's been silenced up with no BKB available. He's a bit of a sitting duck right now, but the Ravage is there. Moon, no, he can't survive. He cannot survive it as Roger. A little bit slow on the ulti, may pay, but Ooh. no, the Echo Slam, Afu. He's going to try and turn this one around, end up taking down Bob already. Kamisu is just trying to survive, but he might just die to raging as the chase is on. So Afu trying to back off himself, but now Nando, he's been targeted with the TPR. Can he make it in time? It does seem like he can. So Execration with a pretty big win here over SMG. They try to find their way in. The wrap to the radiant side, but they may have waited too long as Roshan is now down. They'll still try to initiate by taking another tide, but the Ravage is there in time. And now the Sonic Wave out Moon. He lands on three heroes. Kamizu and Nando just trying to get out of there. Kamizu, though, he won't be lucky enough to get out. Vincenzo, he'll be the second to drop, it seems. In fact, make it third, as they even lost Bob. There might be a fourth as Carlo has also been caught out here by Arfu into the Echo, and they get another. With some good gold coming out for a centaur, but that doesn't offset the loss of map control. With the mid and top tier twos gone, SMG can, can just keep playing aggressively. Here we go. They have already found Bob on that park tip sound as they move in for more. They've got that primary target. They've got Nando. He's trying to run with the stampede out, but it may not be enough as mid one. He's just running way too quick. Carlo, he, he's just being ignored right now as they just go after Vincenzo instead. Oh. And the Fisher out from Arthur. Uh, it's just perfect, John. We talked about it, Mike. Afu Shaker. It's something SNG knows how to play around. It's something Afu is very intimately familiar with. He knows how to push this hero to the edge. It was a bit of a slower start from the laning phase. We didn't see them rotate out. They managed to find Kimizu lagging behind as well. But the racks are opened up mid, Mike. They're going to melt those mid racks. SMG could look for the end here, but it looks like they might pay respects. Go for his secondary racks. It certainly is. It's very, very hard to stop right now as it just feels like SMG just all over them. And we have got the Refresher Orb up now on mid one. In fact, they've jumped in again. Afu gets the Fisher out and Bob's gone. I mean, you, you might lose Afu now. 
And he is going to go down for 50. But that'll force a, a death there from Bob. And now the Ravage out from Roger. Onto three heroes into the Sonic Wave on Nando. He's still trying to fight, but he's got no damage. Refresh out mid one. He wants to go for more. Back in on Kamizu. They'll get the Centaur down. Oh boy, it's just it's just so clean from SMG. Yeah, very clinical movement out. GG. The GG is called by Carlo. Execration. They had an idea, but they didn't have the counter pick for the Broodmutters this time, and they allow that Afu Shaker in. It's one of SMG's best supports. It's one of Afu's best heroes throughout the many years of his Dota career, and he still performs excellently on it. Again, his laning phase might have been a bit slow there, Mike, but it just managed to build off, and you can see SMG getting the pop-offs. Very happy as a team. They've managed to get it working quite well.